what is going on guys so i i don't even know how to describe this i'm not going to edit this video too much because i I'm, i was trying to do another video but i decided to do this one first because i think it's more important so if you guys thought oaken soul was broken like this is not clickbait at all like this is massive okay oaken soul was strong it was nerfed and adjusted maybe a little bit over tuned maybe a heavy hand but overall it's not a big of a deal now so I was looking at the champion points, um, looking at this new one down here, Repose. Okay, this isn't the broken one, by the way. Uh, I was just looking at this thing because we were talking about Power Slam in my Discord, and I was wanting to look at it, and this is going to be a viable possibility for PvP on some builds. But what I saw around the area was Oculent Overload. Now, if you guys don't know how this CP slotable works, this is insane. So on the live server, I think it's about around 2000 damage. I'll, I'll pop up the screenshot of what it says on the live server and what the damage it deals. And on the PTS, they have adjusted this to give you 2560 oblivion damage per stage. There's five total stages, which give you 12,800 oblivion damage in a four meter radius. And the only like proc condition is having an, a status effect on the enemy whenever you kill them, which is very easy. Most builds like Dragonite, uh, any type of build that has a status effect, Sundered, any status effects, if they have on, on them, it's 12,800 Oblivion damage. And something unique about Oblivion damage is it's unmitigatable and unaffected by Battle Spirit. For an example, uh, you have, it's a set that's like a heavy attack set. I don't even remember what it's called. Um, it's from Battlegrounds. Uh, Night Slayer. This is unaffected by Battle Spirit. Uh, your fully charged heavy attacks deal an additional 8% of the enemy's max health as Oblivion damage. Uh, you have the, well, we did have Oblivion Glyphs. I don't know if you still have those or not. Um, but the thing is, is I have a expertise on this because I actually used this on my Magic Dragonite back in the day. Like, a, well, I say it back in the day, but it was only a few months ago that I was using Plague Break uh, and Trickery on my Magic DK with with ocular overload and it was hitting for 2000 damage in pvp when i killed somebody now this issue arises whenever you have sets like plague break and dark convergence that pull people in and explode whenever they die so you have now plague break going to be able to coincide with ocular overload so now in theory well actually not even in theory in practice so if you have a status effect on somebody now everybody has access to a vicious death proc the implications of this have yet to be felt. Like you can test item sets, you can test ability changes, you can test all of those things. You really can't test Ocula Overload in a PVP type of environment because this requires multiple people. It requires an actual PVP environment where you're gonna have squishy people, you're gonna have tanky people, you're gonna have all different kinds of players, not just PVP sweats, okay? So this is harder to test in an actual environment on the PTS because of that. But I think this is gonna have it's similar to how it was last time when I use Ocular Overload. It's going to be affecting, you know, AOE Burst. It's going to have like Deep Breath, Talons, Fossilize into, you know, a Whip or Impulse builds. You're going to have Mad Crows with Dark Convergence and Plague Break. Uh, you're going to have Impulse Spam, Vicious Death. This is just insane. Like, you pair anything up with AOE Burst Nukage that somebody dies from, this is going to just do massive amount of damage, okay? And also another thing about Plague Break is that can proc the status effect Defile, which procs Ocula Overload again. So there's just so many different levels to this that maybe the Zenimax didn't think about. I don't know. But this won't affect solo play really much at all. This will really only affect group play. And like if you're running in a big group, you need to watch out. That's all. Like if this goes live the way it is, I'm going to abuse the heck out of it. I'm talking about it right now because I'm trying to give a forewarning. But if they want to buff other CP slotables and nerf other ones, then that's Zenimax's choice. But this is definitely going to be overtuned to an immense degree. Uh, I even think Repose is a little bit kind of kind of busted uh, to some degree as well. Because if you block an attack and do an end cap, that's going to get a 33% damage on an end cap. So, yeah. Um, I think the adjustments to this will definitely make it more viable. But it's probably going to be pretty much meta. I mean, you got area effect damage. You got direct damage. You got Ironclad, and then you got this on a bomber now, and you're good to go. Like, do you got your burst damage, direct damage, 
You got your mitigation and you got ocular overload now. There's just no point in not running this uh, CP slotable next patch. So let me show you how this thing works. I think that's kind of important. So like I said, um, you have to have a status effect on somebody. So I'm putting this back here just for ease of use to proc it. So it's not so painful to have to proc a status effect because on these ads, they're so squishy and they have so low of health that it's really hard to, to test to, to really want what you want it to. So let's pull some of these ads in here. Let's get them all grouped up. So we're going to proc on this guy with the status effect. And we're just going to light attack. I'm going to wait till he has another one up. The chilled. 12,800 damage. And I didn't even touch the other guys. Okay. So, like I said, I just want to forewarn and want to say I've I've touched this on live server. Ocular Overload goes through Battle Spirit and Mitigation. It does not have any, any care of the world of how tanky you are. You could have 450,000 resistances. It's going to deal damage. I think it'll... It won't do damage to like corrosive if you're in corrosive because it's going to cap it at three percent. I do believe I don't know how that works, but honestly, in 99% of the situations, it doesn't really going to make a difference. So, like I said, when this thing's paired up with something like Dark Convergence, let's say, and you got Dark Convergence, you proc status effects, 12,800 damage, and then they all explode to Dark Convergence. I know not everybody's going to stick in an AOE for DC. But you guys get the drift. Uh, if you're using burning talons, burning embers, whatever the case is, proc status effect, they die, they explode, and you're freaking just going to nuke people. Um, Necros are going to have fun with this. Bomb blades, tether blades are going to have fun with this. I may even drop my calrians. That's how busted this combo is going to be with plague break um, on a night blade. Like, I just, there's just this can't go live like seriously if this goes live this is going to be busted and you guys i'm going to abuse the heck out of it like i'm not even running a build guys i've got freaking random gear i was doing a different video about death dealers but this was overall more important so yeah guys let me do a quick recap again so this cp slotable is unmitigatable unblockable un anything and it does a four meter radius, so Vicious Death is five meters. It can coincide with other sets like Vicious Death, Plague Break, Dark Convergence. Uh, you could use Rush of Agony with this thing and pull people in, so you can Dawn Breaker them and kill them. There's just so many different levels to this thing. Uh, but the only stipulation is the SAS effect, which is not that big of a deal for most classes. DK, Necromancer. If you deal a lot of damage in quick succession, it's going to be very easy to proc at least one SAS effect on one person in an area of effect. So that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I just really wanted to showcase this and show the power of this as I just hope it doesn't go live. Um, but hey, if it does, I'm going to abuse it, like I said. And uh, bomber builds are probably going to turn into 1VX builds. And the only really way to counteract this is to just run more health. And we already have a high health meta in general anyways. But yeah, that's really all I have for you guys. Uh, join the Discord. Check out my website, therealgodzilla.com. Uh, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. Uh, that's it for me, and I'll catch you guys uh, in the next one. Peace.